One by one, we typically add peripherals to our desktop computers, and the result is a rat's nest of cables similar to this. Here's another prime example of a horror show. You can't even begin to tell which wire goes where. Here are a few other examples of some really messy desktop computer cable arrangements. Not only are these unattractive to look at, the big problem you have is when something goes wrong and you have to trace a wire back. If you have just one device on your computer with a power cable and a command cable, there's no mystery to figure out where that wire goes and how to get to the, uh, to the end of it. Not only do you have the command cable, but you also have the power adapter and the power cable to deal with. Over time, after adding multiple devices, the cables become intertwined and tangled, and it's very difficult to trace one cable and remove it without disturbing something else. This is the problem. One of the easiest and best ways to turn your messy cables into something that's both organized and visually appealing is to use Tech Team's number 915 cable loom and organizer set. You can probably figure out some clever cable management systems. However, the easiest thing to do is to use something like Tech Team's number 915 cable organizer set. The set consists of two three-wire organizers and two five-wire organizers. They all have adhesive backs so you can attach them to the horizontal surface of your desk or to the vertical edge. The slots and channels in these organizers are designed to allow easy insertion of the wire and then easy removal. These are made from TPR, otherwise known as thermoplastic rubber, and they're, they're really rather sturdy. What they have is a slot down the top of the channel, and they have these little flaps on top here that sort of go over and around the wire to hold it in the channel securely. Then they're self-adhesive. You just peel back the uh, protective covering and now you have a tacky adhesive that will uh, grip onto the top surface of your desk or to the, the vertical edge. Here we'll put a, a full-size command cable into the slot. You can see, you just work it in there and look how nicely it's gripped. And to remove that, it's just peel it out and you're good to go. Since it holds that uh, command cable wrapped nicely, it goes without saying that uh, it'll also fit a uh, typical USB cable just like this.